Well, we've been walking the Freedom Trail and this is one thing we wanted to sort of, we specially came to see and unfortunately it's closed today. That's right, the USS Constitution closed. The nation's oldest warship is shuttered because the ship of state has run aground. And there's little action on Bunker Hill because of the lack of action on Capitol Hill. The National Park Service employees that run these landmarks have been sent home as part of the shutdown. I'm very disappointed because we came here in the Freedom Trail to see it. Now we do not, so it's, it's very disappointing. I started the Freedom Trail yesterday and uh, I took only half of it. And today I was uh, in great expectations of seeing also the USS Constitution, which is downhill here, and uh, the Bunker Hill. And I was a bit uh, disappointed by the fact that this, it was all closed. So, I, and it's a pity also because I'm standing here only for a few days. So I would I would have loved to take the most of, of Boston today. Uh, it's a pity. While the park housing the Bunker Hill Monument officially remains closed, that has not deterred many tourists from visiting this historic site. Luckily for out-of-town visitors. Many of Boston's landmarks, including Faneuil Hall and the Old State House, are run by local nonprofits. That means their doors are still open. And for those willing to pony up, private tours of the Freedom Trail are still available. Do you think you'll get more business today, given the government shutdown? We hope so. That would be great. <laughs> for the Boston University News Service, I'm Jamie Bologna.